Greetings, my fellow Freedom Blow Sovereign Thinkers. Thank you for tuning into the L3 Podcast. My name is Craig, transmitting from the wild and wonderful mountain state. And today's date is Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. Yeah, so I got a friend of mine texted me on what was going on yesterday from the whole the hacking and all that from um, Colossal Pipeline. And it looks like gas prices will be going up in a lot of areas, multiple states. May go further. Just wait and see. It's always a good time to prep anyway, folks. Now you've seen what's, what's been happening. There are folks going to be hoarding or be panicking. You can't do that. Should have done this from the very beginning, at the least. I would say 2012, in good faith, to a lot of us. It's essential to do these, to um, have that mindset because uh, you want to always want to be versatile as possible for you, for you and your family's best interest or loved ones. Well, like. Looks like gas prices like going to thing going up everywhere, and um, I'm gonna be talking about that. So I'll do one quick episode here. I've been doing a lot of brief ones, so um, that's all well and good. This one came from the Epoch Times. It says here, gas prices expected to keep rising in the wake in wake of colonial pipeline attack, is by Zachary Staber. As it reads here, gas prices are already close to $3 a gallon after a cyber attack on Colonial Pipeline are expected to keep rising through the week, especially in the eastern United States. We're expected to see price increases to continue through the week, and in particular in the southeast region and in the northeast, so it's both areas. Because we are seeing directly impacted areas, along the terminals of the pipeline that remain out. David uh, Gladden, but the Association, Automobile Association, or AAA, to the Epoch Times. And so, as we um, see imports, deliveries from trucks, fill that gap that may mean the higher costs will be associated with those deliveries, and that is certainly causing prices to increase at the pump for consumers, he added. Price rose six to seven cents on average per gallon in the southeast on Monday, according to AAA data. The average price nationwide as of Tuesday was two dollars and ninety five cents per gallon, with price ranging from low of two dollars sixty four cents in south southern states to a high of four dollars ten cents per gallon in some western states in Illinois. Gas prices were already rising before a group called DarkSide stole data from Colonial and locked its computers with ransomware, a method in which attackers hold crucial information from companies until they are paid. As a result, Colonial took certain systems offline, temporarily halting all pipeline operations. The company operates a pipeline that spans more than 505,000 miles from Texas to New Jersey. Colonial ships 100 million gallons of gas per day, supplying stations up and down the East Coast. Robert Doffenbach, Senior Associate, Dean of Economic Development and Impact at the University of Oklahoma's Price College of Business, told the Epoch Times. That's a sort of an indication of how important that operation is to supply gasoline along the Eastern Coast, he said. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the price of um, price of unleaded regular gallon rose from a long time low of a dollar eighty seven in April twenty twenty, when much of the country was locked down due to COVID nineteen pandemic, to two dollars seventy nine cents in March. Rising fuel prices before the attack stem in part from a shortage of gas tanker drivers as other industries attracted people who may otherwise drive the truck. The country has also seen higher demand 
in recent months as well as higher costs for oil. Crippling Colonial combined with the truck driver shortage has led to stations in at least half a dozen states running out of gas with long lines seen at stations across the east. Supply remains adequate, but distribution is not keeping up with the complexities of the transform arena, experts said. Gas stations in the impacted areas may see delayed deliveries in, and some pumps may not have gas until they are able to be refueling by tankers, Gladden said. Federal and state authorities are stepping in to try to respond to the situation. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, a Republican Senate executive order suspending the gas tax, in the state while also increasing weight limits for trucks and uh, transporting fuel and prohibiting price gouging. I don't know about price gouging. It's just more like mercantilism, right, to me. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper declared a state of emergency temporarily suspending some regulations for truck drivers. On the federal level, Environmental Protection Agency Administration Michael Reagan issued an emergency fuel waiver allowing stations to disregard the vapor pressure requirements in several states, including Maryland and Pennsylvania. The Department of Transportation stated, started surveillance vessels qualified to carry petroleum products within the Gulf canvassing rail operators to bring some on board to help transport fuel from ports. Helping Colonial Bring it up, bring it line, line up and running on a manual basis, and previously issued an hours of service exemption to some 17 states. Some of those actions may result in higher prices, particularly in the northeast of the country, according to Gladden. Doffenbach said he was not detecting price jumps yet, even with the station running out in states like Virginia and Georgia. So far, it hadn't reached pan epidemic proportions, he said. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm told reporters in Washington that one of the Colonial's major lines resumed operations on a manual basis and that the company is working on getting spurs on smaller lines up and running the company expects to restore most operations by the end of the week, she added. If not, Americans can expect a rise in prices, Dolphin Box said. It will take a few days to ramp up operations. This pipeline has never been shut down before. It travels great distances. There is fuel in the pipe. and There is fuel, the offtake from the refineries that have to be added. Grand Home said at a White House briefing. Demand spiked on Monday, hitting about 31% higher than the average day in February 2020, according to Gas Buddy numbers. Experts urge people not to hoard as that, as that process can itself lead to jump in costs. There's no need to panic buy. That will only cause the situation to be worse and the uh, price can go up higher, Gladden said. Well, well, well. So... Ah, beast in the synop on the synopsis. There's no guarantees. And remember, folks, all money is fiat. It has no backing by any means. That could inflate as well. Food price has gone up a little bit, little by little, but may accelerate during the summer. Just wait and see. Remember, every high-tech gadget has a flaw. Of course. But one thing we always tell folks. Just be ready as best you can. Prep yourself. Find all other ways of trying to get jobs done. And travel if necessary. If you have that particular budget. So we have to just look at everything the way it is. To be announced. That's what they're saying. To be determined. TBA or TBD.
And hey, just prepare yourselves at the best of your ability and be ready if this don't go through. That's how I look at it. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. And that will be it. I thank everyone for listening, plus feel free to download and share throughout your social media networks. If you have any questions, comments, or sense on this check out whatever you do, please send your correspondence to Quorum. Furthermore, I'll leave the article of this, uh, I'll leave, I'll leave, the, I'll leave the article on my speaker page. You can read it for yourselves. And if you want to contact me, you can hit me at LuckyLuckNumbers03 at ProtonMail.com. If you want to donate, you can hit me at PayPal.me or Cash.app forward slash LokiLuckNumber3. If you want to subscribe or donate to Epoch Times, that would be great. All right. Once again, thank you for your time. Plus, always remember that the demoniac resistance is healthy for the soul and can liberate humanity. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Keep on spreading the love. And may your guardian spirits be with you.